Hi everyone. So in today's video, we are going to talk about six tips that can help you be successful for the school year. All right. So tip number one is have a routine. So for me in my classroom, uh, routines are so important to establish on the first day. When students come in the classroom, just by having something like bell work where they can walk in, maybe um, they can get on Google Docs or maybe you just have some uh, worksheet that they grab and they complete that worksheet. It gives them something to do for that first five minutes and it just sets the tone for the rest of the year that they need to come to class, be on time and ready to go. All right, so tip number two is having good classroom management. Now, you have it's very important just like having a routine having classroom management from day one you want the students to know that you are in charge and don't let students take that from you from the very first day have rules set them in place another thing that i want to say is that um, holding students accountable though i think if a student is being disrespectful we need to hold that student accountable and not walk away from the situation and um, just make sure students know that if you are going to break the rules then there is going to be some accountability all right so number three is be prepared and this one is really important so when you get to class even that first day of school you want to show up early you want to make sure that you get um, everything written on the board you want to you know like hey welcome to the class maybe you name the class you put your name up there and um, being prepared makes such a big difference instead of right when you walk in the kids are walking in you're trying to like write your name you're trying to do this and that it can turn again a class into a very um, what's the word? Cha chaotic, chaotic, very chaotic, chaotic classroom. So it's really important yeah. to be prepared the first day. And I think another, another thing we should think about when we talk about being prepared is having some assignments ready to go for those that finish their work early, yes. because you don't want students to say, oh, I finished my work early. I can sit here and be on my cell phone, or mm -hmm. I can sit here and do whatever I want, or I can go and distract my other fellow you know classmates that are doing their work yes that's something that we do not want so we actually have some resources that we have worked on together that um th you can actually see we have a link below where you can download it and um just some free resources all right so uh tip number four is collaboration now I think this is very, very important, especially for brand new teachers. Uh, what I have learned is that when I collaborate with others, I am actually thinking of things that I never would have thought of before, like our brainstorming and uh, we bounce ideas off of one another and it makes me become a better teacher. Yeah, and another thing is, especially when you're a new teacher, collaboration is so important because I will do exactly what you said. I'll, I'll do something in the beginning when I was new and I was like, oh man, that, that was just terrible. And I'll go and I'll like ask the teacher, like, why did this and that? And they'll say, well, why didn't you try this? And so as a new teacher, especially, so important to establish those relationships with teachers because right. they are going to give you advice from years of experience in the classroom mm -hmm. to better help manage your, um, your classroom. All right, so number five is limit work at home. This is a really, I think a really important one. Um, I have a bunch of kids and in the beginning, I was bringing all my homework home and my classwork and just everything. And I was spending hours and hours and hours grading. And then um, I had no time for my family. And so I think one of the things is you really have to limit the amount of work you bring home and find other ways to grade things. And you have to, because you have a life and you need to have a life. So, and uh, tip number six is let students help. Now, I am a perfectionist and uh, my first year teaching, I wanted to do everything myself. I mean everything, pass out papers, collect papers, grade everything. I didn't want anybody helping me with any type of grading or any type of, um, responsibility I felt like was on me to do everything. And I was told by a, another um, fellow teacher that, hey, you need to stop doing so much and let the students help. And it really, really helped change my classroom because students love being involved. They loved helping out. And if you ask them 
to pass out papers and you know it gets them involved yes all right all right so thank you so much for watching our video and we can't wait to create more videos like this so please make sure to follow us and we will see you next time bye bye, -bye.